Hello all, in this problem, I am going to discuss about the projection of planes. So this is a problem I am going to discuss today. So before that, I would like to introduce the difference between the surface and edge. For example, so this is a square lamina or we can call that a square plane. Okay. So for this particular square plane, so this is called surface and these four are edges and these four the intersection of two edges are nothing but the corners okay so when they say like a surface is inclined at 45 degree it means like <coughs> so the whole surface should be inclined at 45 degree something like this with hp if they say like it is inclined at 45 degree to hp it should be portion something like this if they say the edge of a lamina or side of the lamina is inclined at 45 degree, then it should be portioned something like this. So this angle should be 45 degree. Okay. So this angle should be 45 degree. Okay. So coming to this, when the surface is inclined to one particular plane, what will happen? See for instance, let's take the same square lamina. now. See for example, this is my vertical plane and horizontal plane. So the surface of the lamina is inclined at alpha to vertical plane. So by positioning and the lamina is perpendicular to horizontal plane. When you position in such a way, uh, the surface is inclined to one plane and the plane is perpendicular to the other plane. What will happen in the front view? you will see the projector shape not the true shape and size whereas the projector shape so one projector will trace this edge the other projectors two projectors will trace these two edges and you will get a shape it will look like a rectangle okay in the top view you, you will see the true length of one side okay so that's what when you apply surface inclination to the plane, what will happen? The true shape will not be visible in either of the front view or top view. So in that case, what we need to do is we need to use change of position method. Okay? In change of position method, first you need to draw the simple position by satisfying the given conditions. By satisfying the given conditions and then you need to draw the front view and top then after drawing the simple portion then you need to apply the surface inclination to get the final portion for for this case okay so here in this kind of problem so here the condition means it's called resting condition okay see for example uh, rests with one point on its circumference on H. So that is the resting condition. Okay. So this is the resting condition. It means like so after the so one of its point on the circumference sh that should rest on the horizontal plane. Okay. Let's show how it looks. A circular lamina rests on one of its plane on circumference on H plane. Such a way that the surface of the lamina is 45 degree inclined to HP and it should be perpendicular to B. So this is VP and the lamina should be perpendicular and it should be 45 degree. Okay. So so this is the final case. Okay. So after positioning your lamina for the given condition, what you need to do is you need to remove the surface inclination. Remove in the sense need to make that angle zero so if you do that what will happen the lamina will lie something like this so by removing the surface inclination angle if you draw the front view on top view then that is called simple case simple portion okay so now we need to draw the simple portion so i need to take the front view on top view now if you take the front view on top view what will happen you will see the true shape and size in the top view and in the front view you will see a straight line okay so you need to draw that okay here the in front of distance and above distance is not given so in that case 
you can assume convenient distances. First, I'm going to draw a reference line. So, first, x, y. This will be my vertical plane and horizontal plane. Okay. So, now we need to draw the simple portion. So, as I, sh as I shown before, you will see the true shape in the top view. So I have drawn the true shape in the top view. Next, I will divide this circle into some convenient divisions. So preferably 8. I divide the circle into intuitions. I am going to name it. Let us take this as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So, so to draw the top, top view, so I have drawn the top view. Next, you need to draw the front view. So, to do that, you are assumed to be portion here, and you will take a viewpoint. So two projectors will trace against something like this. And you will get the top view something like this. Okay. So now from all the identified points you mark a vertical line. So if you see from this side, this half of the circle will be visible. So that means 1 dash will be visible, 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash, 5 dash and this half of the circle will be behind you. So we need to mention it in bracket, 6 dash, 7 dash, 8 dash. Okay. So, without applying the inclination, so I draw on the front view on top view, which is nothing but the simple question. Let me move it here. Next, you need to apply the inclination. Okay. My question is, this 45 degree will be visible in the front view or top view? Yeah, so that will be visible in the front view. So, this front view we need to take by 45 degree. So from this, give 30 mm space and mark a point and you start drawing the front view. Okay. So to do that, what we need to do is draw a line 45 degree, something like this. Then from 1 dash to 5 dash, you measure this distance and transfer it here. Okay. You transfer something like this. And subsequently you transfer all the points. So one dash to two dash you measure and mark it. One dash to three dash you measure and transfer. And one dash to four dash. So the exact length should be transferred. So this will be one. One dash, two dash, three dash. 3 dash, 7 dash, 4 dash, 6 dash, and finally 5 dash. I transferred it. Okay. So next you need to draw the top. So the top view will be nothing but intersection of the front view in the final position and the
the top view in the simple portion. So to do that, what we need to do is from all the identified points, we will draw the vertical lines, something like this. So I draw on the horizontal line from the top view of simple portion and vertical lines from the front view of the final portion. So next you need to identify the points. So the line from the 7 and 7 dash will be the 7, 1, okay, 7 and here 7 dash. So you identify the points. The intersection of the line passing through 7, horizontal line passing through the 7 and vertical line passing through 7 dash. So this will be my 7 suffix 1. Okay. Similarly, this is 3 and this is 3 dash. So this intersection will be 3 suffix 1. Similarly, you need to identify all the points. 4, where is a 4 here? 4 and 4 dash. 4 suffix 1. 5 and 5 dash. 5 suffix 1. This will be 1 suffix 1. 8 suffix 1. And suffix 1 and 6 suffix 1 so I have traced once you've done that you sequentially connect the points are similar to this sequence if you sequentially connect you will get something like this okay so this will be the final top view and this will be the final front view okay this is called simple portion and this one is called final portion So next we need to dimension one thing that is given in the question that is diameter and inclination angle. So the inclination will be visible only in this view. So we need to mention here 45 degree and the diameter will be visible in the simple portion, not here. Okay. We mention and mark us die of 40. Okay. So this is how we need to draw the uh, projection of pain when the true shape is not visible in the front view and that or either in the front view or top view. So this is how we need to draw the projection of planes using change of position method. Okay. Thank you.